Alright, we are live. Welcome everybody to Sydney Airport and our little view today taking you into the night stream. And uh, as you guys can tell, it's, just, it's quite windy here tonight. Out underneath the flight path, <laughs> Nigel Love Bridge. And our uh, first arrival of the stream coming in. Over top of us here. Virgin Australia smoking the mains. Runway 16 right here at Sydney International Airport. organizing a bit of publicity about the stream. Let's see how far we go tonight. I am planning on going to curfew, but um, we'll see how we go. chat right now, see how we're all getting along. Hope all the, uh, all the audio and the visuals, uh, coming through nice and well. Just gonna spin it around, We've got another arrival coming in. Right, we saw this one in the last stream over at Ship's Mound. Smoking landing there. Super windy. Hopefully the uh, tripod doesn't fall over. Clear in the chat. Welcome back to the stream. How's it going? Uh, it's 5.21 here, 5.22 in Sydney at the moment. Just past, uh, just past gold now, sorry, I, uh, I couldn't, um, couldn't get going sooner. Really wish I could because we had a great golden hour. Quiet. That's all right. I'll uh, I'll fix that up a little bit. That'll hopefully be coming through a little bit better. How's that? Diminished. Welcome back to the stream. HZ73 Retro Roo. Yes. 
Absolutely. Nice looking aeroplane. Clear, hello, Peter B, hello. That sound, absolutely amazing. Great little spot down the Nigel Love Bridge here, Sydney Airport. And if I can, I'm just going to spin us up high into the sky. Our moon up here. And then there it is. More contrails up in the sky there. Not too sure what this aircraft is. Someone can have a look for me. Tell me in the chat what's the aircraft flying over Sydney right now with the trails behind it. Alright. So, a bit about our location. Here you can uh, you just see the approach lights into Sydney, which this Boeing 737 will be looking at right now. Looks like it could be the Mendo livery. We might be in luck. Two special liveries in a row here at Sydney Airport. Smoky Mains dropping it on to 16 right. Have a look at the international terminal here. We've got a Qatar Airways Airbus A380 parked just over here. Around a little bit further, Air Canada, 777 Cathay Pacific Cargo, 747 Atlas Air, and Australia. Post. Domestic terminal just over to our left here. And the domestic freight apron. With our earlier international arrival there. Jetstar A320 approaching the parallel. after sunset here at Sydney Airport, coming up 5.30. Welcome everybody to the last stream of day two of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. Day two of eight. Looking forward to doing plenty of streaming here at Sydney tomorrow. Should the weather want to play ball. That's better, diminished, perfect. That's what we like to hear. It's a little bit of pink sky about. And it's going to start getting dark pretty quickly. about that. Uh, what do we got here? Might be another 7-3. Coming in runway 16 right here at Sydney Airport. If Jetstar A320, sorry.
See you guys. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you can. That's the way I came. Yep. Not sure what the uh, the tourists doing, giving plane spotting recommendations to the locals, but he is. Who's going to stop me? On to seven three, our first takeoff on one six right from this angle. Too much noise off of the back of that Qantas 737, but plenty of wind. Rotating just on the other side of the pole, how lovely. Off into the night sky. Virgin Australia 73 landing on the parallel down that end. Spinning around. Nice sunset that we've got coming along here. Two aircraft on the approach. Got one, I'm not sure where the other one is. Here is a Saab 340 coming in. Listen to this. Welcome to Sydney, Rex Airline, Saab 340. Real nice sound out of that. Siki coming in, in the chat, welcome. Epic location, very awesome. Not fun when you're carrying 20 kilos of baggage uh, on the 20 or so minute walk. Working up a sweat, lovely. We'll definitely be enjoying this later. HZ73 has got his priorities straight. Absolutely. Looking forward to some fabulous lights later on tonight. And the Milk Run. A famous Sydney, Melbourne. Alright, here's something a little bit more familiar to us all. In New Zealand. Airbus A320neo coming in. Runway 16 left. Quite unfortunate I didn't get uh, packed up from Ship's Mound a bit earlier. Could have enjoyed this location for a little bit longer, but hey, who's to say we won't be enjoying it a little bit later on in the week. Potentially, the um, Friday night live stream could be coming to you live from this location here. Otherwise, um, tomorrow, if the weather's all right, we could absolutely see some plane spotting coming to you from the Nigel Love Bridge. Spinning around, two more aircraft arriving.
got the main one just there on the left of the screen and about in the middle you can just see that faint light looking forward to a couple more heavies later on actually when I was setting up I managed to actually film a uh, Atlas Air 747 arriving which will definitely be uploaded to my YouTube channel later on 737-800 here Virgin Australia crazy people out and about running around this time of night. Taking the high speed exit and we'll be uh, heading over to the domestic terminal. Just got a Rex Airlines Boeing 737-800 sneaking out in front of our next arrival. We're not panning around for a Jetstar A320 on the parallel. delivery. Saw that in the last stream quite often. Making its way in. 1-6 left. Rick 737 rolling now. 1-6 right. Plenty of action for us to spot here this evening. side of the pole, that's actually quite unfortunate. So right up and away it goes, just in time for the next arrival. Jetstar Airways, Airbus A320 coming in. I'll zoom all the way out for this one so you can see how close they are. Yep. So you get very, very close to the aircraft at this location. Bouncing it down on one six right. Jackie Hill, Jackie Hughes coming back in, hello. Uh, Mark Sparkle, abs yes it is. It's, um, yeah, I'll just zoom out. Canal is just in front of us. I had an absolute fit trying to find where this was this morning, causing the, uh, the cancellation of the morning stream. Which would have been wicked to film from here. But that's alright because we are here now. Enjoying the sights and sounds of Sydney Airport at night. Jackie coming back in with those emojis. Jetstar A320 on 1.6 right. And we have a FedEx Boeing 777 freighter pushing back just to the left of us. This will provide some great sounds as it starts up for its journey. Uh, my guess is that it's off to Singapore.
velocity Boeing 737. I've lost it. Where is it? There it is. Virgin 73 for the parallel. 16 left. Now the FedEx 777 that I was just talking about just pushed back here. We'll be, be hearing some amazing sounds coming out of that very shortly. Next arrival only about a minute away. You can see the lights just down the end over the, the bush. What's this looking like for us? Another 7-3. Uh, someone in the chat might be able to pull up flight radar for me, tell me when the next heavies are coming in. Love to uh, catch plenty of arrival action. Uh, not sure what you mean there, Siki. Uh, a dead cat with me. Not as... <laughs> no. Have to t give me a little bit more context or something to that. Boeing 90 time, FedEx Boeing 777 freighter. Ah uh, yes, yeah I do actually. I thought that might be what you mean. Only after I close your comments. So there is my little dead cat friend. Reminds me of my, my cat at home actually. All uh, that sort of colour. Not, not dead, not dead, but that, <laughs> just that, that colour. Just going to bump the ISO up another notch. See how that looks. So that's all right at the moment. It'll slowly get darker and look a little bit better. You can see three lights out on approach. If I turn that right down, you'll be able to see them. One's very faint off in the distance. For now, Saab 340. Rick Saab.
Not yet any movement on the international apron, but we do have a Qantas Boeing 737 lining up for departure on 16 right. as well as the FedEx Boeing 777 taxiing out. And looks like we might have something big about to come in on 16 right over top of us. Goes Qantas E190 on the parallel. On some sort of lease agreement with um, Alliance E Alliance, I believe. So our FedEx 777 waiting for another aircraft to land. Just coming in behind us. I know. It was a great golden hour that I just missed as well. <laughs> That's right, I caught a uh, Atlas Air Boeing 747 video, which will be on my channel. So, what do we got? This might be a Q400 coming in behind us. With our lovely dashy lights that we all love. Great light here for this Q400. Past the moon on the way in. And just gonna chuck it down. Pretty solid landing there. But it is down on runway 34 right and FedEx Boeing 777 taking the stage QF332 and A380 big enough for you in half an hour that might do the trick that sounds big enough followed by a 777 from Qatar those two will be fun standing there. Absolutely, EK412 in Christchurch in about an hour. Look at this view. Absolutely incredible. EK413. Carolyn, Harry, have you been enjoying Sydney? I haven't had too much uh, time to be enjoying. But tell you what, if I just ignore all the cameras and look out at this 777 with all the lights. I would definitely say that I'm having a great time. Here we are. praying that it does not rain tomorrow 
and I'll be able to do plenty of streaming from this location but we'll just have to see how it plays out I won't come out here if it looks like it's going to rain because if it does then that could be not great for the equipment for a Jetstar Airways Airbus A321 and Virgin 737 are waiting for to take off but they will both have to wait for a, a Dash 8 coming in on runway 16 right Here we go. Qantas Dash 8. Solid landing there from the Dash 8. Yeah, the uh, 777 just got on it up before the uh, for the pole. You, you would think so. Uh, I don't think runways are ever straight, to be honest. Probably cost a lot of money in addition to the already great cost of building an airport just to make the runway flat. Qantas Boeing 737 for one six left. Appearing behind the international terminal. Virgin 737 on the go. Over the top of the mound and up. starting to get a bit dark and uh, brighten it up a little bit there and, uh, take it down there jet star a320 Qantas 73 holding short for our arrival not too far away on the parallel here we have what looks to be a Qantas link Q400 Two aircraft off in the distance for one six right there. Yep, Siki's on it. Qantas almost at Sydney. 
Top of the hill on the runway is called a kicker. Right. Gotcha. It's just before the pole anyway, so... Look at those flashing landing lights there from this 737. to 7-3, potting it down on one six right, Jetstar A320, sick of waiting, ready to go, oh, this is the, uh, the A321 I think, Star A320, got to get a move on. Traffic is on very short final right now. Okay, well that A320 is going to get up. We're going to spin it around, catch this aircraft arriving just behind it. Gulfstream G650 What a surprise here at Sydney Airport About the third G650 I've seen here today so far Plenty of money in it here how that looks. That might be a bit much, sorry. Uh, bump it down. And then bump it up again a little bit later on. So, Qantas Boeing 737. Ready for takeoff, 16 right. Disappearing off into the dark.
Up and away it goes. One out, one in, you know how this goes. Boeing 737-800. one of these domestic gates, there it is, our Retro Roo, which arrived, one of the first arrivals of the stream, same with the, uh, the Mendu Warji, however you pronounce it, livery from, uh, from overseas. Just a reminder to those of you who haven't already to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your support is uh, very much appreciated. It's free and um, really helps me out a lot with promoting their streams. And because I've um, put a lot of time and money into planning this 8 day spotting adventure across Australia and New Zealand. Plane Pete 66 in the chat. Welcome back. Hope you've had a great day. Another day closer to the Brisbane streams. Uh, roly roller coaster was uh, probably wasn't the best description. Despite it being uh, quite accurate, definitely. A couple of supers in the next wee while. QF332 is about 25 minutes away. Looking forward to that one. And yep, G650 before. A350 leaving at 6.05pm. SQ242, thank you for that. Round behind us. You guessed it, it's another 737. quite crazy how that um, the navigation lights and the strobe lights on that um, Virgin Australia 737 actually lit up the whole area around me as it uh, flew overhead flashing its lights everywhere absolutely <laughs> the G650 the future non-aviation corporate jet funded by you guys and your your views SHB Motorsport Productions back in the chat good evening return to the night shift yeah out, out here for <laughs> probably quite a long time just got a Virgin 7.3 heading for the parallel planning on being out here until 11pm until curfew however we, we'll see how that plan goes how that plays out DHL Singapore Airlines 777 there parked on the bays Pontus A330 over there as well it was an A380 parked there but that departed as QF1 to Singapore slightly earlier on in the day Retro. And a couple of nice looking aeroplanes over on the international side. Might 
might be time to just quickly bump the ISO up to 6400. Once again, lighting up the path. What a great spot this must be during the day. I think I'm going to actually struggle to fit the uh, A380 from Christchurch in my frame as it uh, <laughs> as it flies over here. This is going to be quite challenging. Almost needed to set up a bit further down on the actual path itself. Just down there. Oops. Almost needed to set up there so I can actually fit the whole plane in the frame. We'll see what happens. What's this? A uh, Qantas Link Q400 coming in for uh, one six left. Plane Pete 66, looking forward to Saturday, absolutely. Will be an incredible stream up in Brisbane. Got a Qantas 737 taxiing out. SHB Motorsport Production, say so you go to RAAF Williamtown to watch some F35 action. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to film probably not allowed to film at air bases. I know you're definitely not allowed to take photos or even point your camera towards an air base here in Australia. So I'm not too sure how that would go, but the uh, the F-35s are absolutely incredible to watch. Holding short for some arriving traffic see all the lights out in the distance there. Looking like a 737. And no, it's a Saab Qantas 737 preparing for its departure off of 16 right. Nice blue Boeing Sky interior lights installed there. That's the uh, split winglet installed as some of the 737s. Okay, as previously mentioned, our Singapore Airlines Airbus A350, where is its logo lights? Come on, turn the logo lights on. Pilot's slacking a little bit. Alright, here we go. Qantas Boeing 737 departure.
into the night sky there. Yeah, looking like it could be in the Yibas A320. Yeah, the Yibas A320 and you bet it is. down there. So our Singapore Airlines A350 must be next for departure. Just here on the international side. Max is back. G'day Harry and everyone. Welcome back. Ah, oh, your name's actually Scotty. Perfect. I'll call you that. That'll be much easier than saying, uh, saying your username. Yeah, hold on tight. Get that. Uh, get the A380 in frame. Be challenging. Let's see how we go. Can't have RAAF buildings in photos or videos. Yes. Uh, um. I don't know. Is the runway all right? Would be interesting. I won't be getting out there. Uh, this time around anyway. Here's the second heavy departure, our first passenger heavy departure of the night. The tail lights finally on for Singapore Airlines Airbus A350. Here we go. Hopefully the tripod doesn't fall over. Cicadas are at it tonight. But here we go, our Singapore Airlines Airbus A350 lifting off into the night now. Can barely see it to be honest. not to get uh, bitten by a snake or anything as well. Time for an arrival. Sounds like a Saab 340.
drink and back in the action. Qantas Boeing 737 on the roll. as we can't hear too much can get to the chat while uh, 737 takes off Plain Pete 66 what did you think of the Qantas business class on the 787-9 I thought it was a great great product from Qantas breakfast was pretty good crew were you couldn't fault them you could not fault them the seat very nice seat, uh, IFE quite good as well, and um, yeah, very, very great product, absolutely worth 600 bucks. For a Trans-Tasman hop. Okay. Now we've got something looking quite big coming in now. And it's got four engines. Some may say it's an Emirates A380. Let's check this one out, guys. Sorry, Emirates A380 still to come. Blasting winds. From the back of those four massive engines. Hopefully the uh, the wind fluff on the microphone is doing a decent job. Where's that one coming from? Um, I don't remember a uh, A380 coming in this sort of night. Yeah, it's going to be windy. Singapore Airline name Custard Duck. Do you reckon that's a good nickname for the uh, for Singapore Airlines? All right, we'll have to uh, we'll take that. grass. I don't think just because it's an airport that there's not going to be any snakes. It's alright. We should be fine. Just spin you around and have a look at these uh, lights making their way in for Sydney Airport. Uh, that budget gamer, yes indeed, I am at uh, the Nigel Love Bridge. Jonathan Darby back in the chat. Uh, evening Harry and all, work done for the day, checking in for some night plane spotting action. Awesome, welcome back. Carolyn the King, Quantas say 380 awesome, coming from Max. Plane Pete 66 did well keeping it in frame, that's awesome, that's the goal. So much fun standing here under the, uh, the flight path, really awesome. Qantas A that Qantas A380 was the one that did the charter from Gatwick in London to Singapore. Oh, okay, so that makes sense, so it's not actually a... Uh, a normal service on that A380 getting in. So that was a charter flight. Gee, I wonder what it what, wonder what it'd cost to charter an A380 to the other side of the world. Okay. Next arrival.
flaring lights coming in from the 737. Reverse thrust action there. Just going to double check. Yeah, I'm at my maximum ISO level. So that prop you guys can probably hear is this, uh, what looks to be a Q300. Patiently waiting for its departure as the Virgin 737 takes the stage further down the runway. Yeah, everyone on uh, SDTV Live was wondering about who chartered and what it cost. Wonder how you assign the seats. <laughs> who gets the first class seat, who gets economy? That's a great spot then. The, uh, the A380 took off on stream from Gatwick and then he got pelted by a storm about 10 minutes before it went out. Oh, lucky we didn't get pelted by a, st by a storm uh, 10 minutes before that got in. Otherwise, I would not be a happy streamer. Mind you, the weather's looking uh, pretty clear at the moment. Touch wood. Yes, okay. Here we go. Another Boeing 737. Runway 16 right at Sydney Kingsford Smith. dollars an hour. Yeah, it could be about right. I reckon it's a little bit steeper than that. And not to mention, that's also the cost of flying it there and then back. Okay, here we go. Look at the lights. On the propellers of this Qantas Q300. I know some of us are really looking forward to seeing those lights. And how's that?
Okay, another arrival not too far away. And looks like if I pan us around over here, we've got a Boeing 747. Cathay Pacific pushed back and ready to go. This one arrived while I was packing up from uh, Ship's Mound. Yep, flight number from Gatwick was uh, QF332. Uh, Oscar Wire coming in as this new streaming channel at Sydney Airport. How often will you be streaming at Sydney? Well, I uh, know I'm not a new uh, Sydney plane spotter, unfortunately. I'm just visiting on, an, uh, on a plane spotting tour of Australia and New Zealand. And I'll tell you more after this arrival. Here it is, the uh, oops, sorry, the uh, the Qantas Airbus A380, all the way from Gatwick, crossing in front of our Boeing 747. for the parallel, 1-6 left. Alright. So, uh, to answer the question, simply, uh, no, I'm not a new streamer here at Sydney. Or I'm a new streamer, I'm not a, uh, a permanent permanent streamer. I'm uh, visiting from New Zealand on the, an Australasia live plane spotting tour. So I'll be streaming in Sydney all tomorrow and then off to Melbourne. Back doing a Sydney stream on Friday. Day trip to S Brisbane on Saturday and then Christchurch in New Zealand on Sunday. Also not forgetting the uh, the Wellington stream on Monday. Okay, 747 from Cathay Pacific. going back to Gatwick on the 30th. Okay, 7-3. Goodness, no, that would be terrible. Pelted by hail and had lightning above him, waiting for that. Jessica Nixon, 
yeah, yeah, I'm um, Harry Bragg in uh, one of your one of the group chats, the aviation group chats with you. Uh, yep, plane Pete 66 got that right. Something happening with my microphone at the moment. It was just not working for a second, but now it's back. under the Australasia Life Tour playlist. Uh, prop lights, yeah, that, that dashy had a great one. And Max saying we just hit 900 subscribers. That's great news. Thank you for that, Max, and thank you for everyone who subscribed. It's gone up about 300 odd subscribers so far over the two days. Had about 250 yesterday, only 50 today, but that's still an improvement. And very grateful for everybody's support. Rick Sealon is probably. 800. So yeah, every, everyone there watching at home, um, I want to see see where you're watching it from. Whether you're on the the TV, on the computer, on the phone, take a photo of where you're watching and uh, post it on your Instagram story. Tag me at uh, Noni Aviation New Zealand 1. The link to my Instagram is in the description. And then I'll, I'll give you guys a, a shout out on my Instagram. So just uh, just take a photo of where you're watching the stream from and uh, and you'll get a, get a shout out on my Instagram if you uh, tag my at. Two days in Sydney, two days in Melbourne, Saturday in Brisbane. That is the Australian part of the stream. Jzone, g'day, welcome to the stream. This spot is the uh, Nigel Love Bridge. It's quite a quite a uh, interesting spot to get to. Alright, 747 time, here we go. Cathay Pacific. Another 737-800 arrival coming in, just behind us. This 
might not be a 737. No, this is our A330. That's no, triple seven. Etihad Airways, Boeing 777-300ER, all the way from Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. So I only took, I only took what three got three tries to miss that. Crazy. Uh, can you see the control tower for a little bit? Yes, uh, I'll uh, just quickly pan the camera around there. It's only only got the three lights up the top. You can sort of see the spiral. There's uh, Sydney Airport. Air traffic control tower faintly. Cathay Pacific 7478F going to Melbourne, not Hong Kong. <laughs> That's alright. Jessica's recognised me now. Yep, coming to Wellington on Monday. Jackie Hughes watching this on her phone. Great way to watch the streams. 737 departure. <laughs> Oscar Wire, can you please stream all night tonight please? Or can you please stream from your window at your hotel? We'll see how we go. Might not be all night. We'll uh, do my best for you. Off goes the 737 down the end there. Been, uh, well, I haven't been streaming all day, but I've been I've been trying to stream since I got here at about uh, 8:30 this morning on QF4 from Auckland. Then uh, tried to find the spot, failed to find the spot because of a pretty useless taxi driver. But that's all right. Managed to find this uh, place thanks to the help of Lachlan, who is a, a, a local plane spotter. Uh, J Zone, I'm just at the Nigel Love Bridge near the canal. So, if you look on Google Maps, there's the canal and uh, end of the runway is just over here. to 737 holding short for another Boeing 737. Flashing logo lights there on that Qantas 737. Quite an interesting one. I don't think I've seen a flashing logo light before. Usually they're just like this 73, uh, just over here. I mean, they just got it permanently on. Diminished hello, welcome. If you can't stream outside all night, then can you please stream? 
the control tower all night through your hotel window, please. Uh, what's happening at the control tower? Seems, uh, it's quite strange to be, uh, just filming the control tower all night. All decorated over there. Olivia Wallace, hello, welcome to the stream. Have a look at the uh, internationals. So this is the uh, Qantas A380 that we saw arrive not too long ago from London Gatwick on a charter flight. And then Air Canada Boeing 777 heading out a little later on tonight. A couple of aircraft waiting to depart and three on the inbound. Looks like one for runway right and two for runway left. This one seems to be an, uh, an A320, my guess. That's not an A320, that is a Boeing 787-9 ANA. Our first 787 of the evening. Coming in from Tokyo. on the other side of the world just waking up and uh, making a great decision to start the morning with a little bit of live plane spotting coverage here from Sydney Airport. At the end of day two of the Australasia live plane spotting tour. To 737 here, taking off 16 right. Waiting for our next arrival to come in.
Boeing waiting for the second arrival as well. Unless the Stute Star A320 is going to make a go for it. Looks like it. Here we go, Jet Star Airbus A320. Okay, looks like we've got something big coming in. This might be the Emirates Airbus A380 arrival from Christchurch. Dad, do you want to film this? Second day 380 of the night. There's that wind. Loving that. Got to blow us away as it lands on runway 16 right. Emirates flight 413 from Christchurch to Dubai via Sydney. Always very much appreciated. Um, looking forward to seeing you on the um, upcoming live streams around Australia and New Zealand with the uh, the remaining six live stream uh, six days of live streaming.
another arrival tonight. Pontus Airbus A330. See you in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Modified, hello. Hope everyone's well. We've got another heavy arrival here on a one six right. Boeing 777-300ER from Singapore. And getting blown away by them as well. Okay, got, got a dog coming to visit us. Bit dark, won't be able to capture them. Emirates A380 looks to be going to a uh, bit of a different gate to usual. As if I'm not mistaken, they usually go around the other side of the international. We tend to not see them at uh, over this side of the airport. Nevertheless, a very pleasant surprise. Canada Trump 7 and Emirates uh, and Qantas Airbus A380. Jetstar A320. One six left. B 
be quite a nice calming spot out here if it wasn't uh, so windy. Emirates flight 471 out at 10 past 8 as well. Qatar flight 8986, 777 to Melbourne looks to be the next heavy out at 5 to 8. Absolutely, Max. It's a uh, lovely night here in Sydney. A little bit of wind, not too much cloud in the sky, and fingers crossed it'll be a great day for plane spotting tomorrow. Emirates A380 looks to have found a gate over on the international terminal. Great time to get a couple of uh, smaller departures out at the moment with no inbound aircraft. Plenty of turboprops making their way out on their last few flights of the evening. Uh, now Oscar, we definitely will not be going past 11pm. Um, it'll be 1am over in New Zealand at that time, in which I'll be uh, most certainly ready for bed with a, uh, a massive day tomorrow, so um, look forward to that. EK417 is there, the A380 out at 10 past 8. Gosman's got dominoes. Oh, care to share some? Uh, is, uh, and I don't think they do Uber Eats out on the middle of a bridge, do they? Unfortunately for us. Uh, well, you do need permission to stream from that car park just up behind the ridges. Um, I just it's through the fence here, but uh, this car park here is um, P7, no P6 they call it, and uh, that is the only place on the whole airport where they will kick you out for streaming. This is the retro livery now on 16 right. Wasting no time. Hopefully you guys are hearing plenty of the thunder of the departing aircraft.
Clear Quanta 73 coming out for departure from the domestic terminal. Uh, no, definitely not live <laughs> at 3am. It'll be 1am New Zealand time at 11pm uh, at Aussie time. China Southern 787 inbound in about four minutes. Perfect. Thank you very much for that information. No, I, di I didn't know that either, Max, until uh, Sid Squad sent me a message about it. And uh, really gutted about that. I was planning to do most of my streaming from there. But in the meantime, let's enjoy these dashy prop lights in the dark. Thirty taxiing in here. And seven thirty seven off of one six right. Got some lights in the distance coming into view. They appear to be hitting for Oh, one six right. Two aircraft coming in to uh, one six right, one one for uh, one six left. Pan we'll, uh, pan round to those once they get a bit closer. In the meantime, we'll just admire this. Airbus A330 that recently arrived. And it's at the gate. Alright, another Quanta 7-3 pushing back over there. Spinning around to our arrivals, as you can see, two aircraft coming in for the right hand runway, one for the left hand. First one looks to be a Dash 8 followed by what I believe to be the China Southern Boeing 787 off in the distance. Paul Usher, good morning. Welcome back to the streams all the way from the UK great supporter of the uh, the channel there Q300 Six right. Lovely prop lights there. Love to see it. Gotta be one of the best planes to be watching at night time. 
Okay, our 787 is just behind us as well. We'll follow it the whole way in. Only a few seconds out now. It's about what it looks like to me in real life. the brightness up so we can see some of that exterior as it comes and passes by. China Southern Boeing 787-9. Just a flash of their magnificent livery. As we concluded in the last stream, we reckon this is the best looking livery of any China airline. Chinese airline. And a nice little blast from it as well. Just to top it off. likes away from the 100 like mark plain pete 66 come in awesome to hear thank you everybody for the support uh just remember mind if you just a reminder if you haven't hit that like button uh definitely do so it is free really helps me out great way to support the channel and um yeah and also subscribe if you haven't already. Even better way to support the channel. Turn the notification bell on so you're notified every time I go live or publish a video. It's also free and um, yeah, really motiva motivates me to do crazy stuff like eight days straight live streaming from airports around Australia and New Zealand. Like what we're doing here on day two of eight of the Australian, the Australasian live tour. Waiting here for a Qantas Boeing 737 departure off of runway 16 right. Just coming up 10 past 7 p.m. here at Sydney International Airport. sight to see. A few more arrivals coming in just behind us. Looks like two more for runway 16 right.
Uh, yeah, so I might actually say 3am because um, it's actually scheduled in New Zealand time. So it's saying 5am New Zealand, which is 3am here, but it's not. It was 7am in New Zealand. So I will need to go and uh, reschedule all of those streams. Just chuck them two hours later. Jetstar Airbus A320. <laughs> Qantas and Emirates thumbnail. Yeah, well. Great looking shot, isn't it? Of the two Airbus A380 tails. over here at the international terminal uh, unfortunately not another live stream from Auckland on this trip but I will definitely be back as soon as I can Uh, live tomorrow morning, 5am, for uh, the end of curfew. Catch the arrivals. Maybe a bit later, about 5.30, depends when the first aircraft are coming in. we're going to have uh, we'll watch these next two arrivals and I think we're going to wrap the stream up here don't want to get too tired um, massive day tomorrow I do want to get a bit of food and everything else before I go to bed Virgin Australia 7-3 in Australia. Chair thumbnail, nice one, Max. Yes, that may be it. China Southern landing not too long ago, probably about 10 15 minutes if you go back. Q400 departure, 1 6 right. Second to last movement of the stream tonight. as we have what looks like might be another Dash 8 or Saab 340 coming in we'll find out no it's quite a lot bigger it is quite a lot bigger.
fantastic way to cap off the stream with the Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 coming in from Auckland. Absolutely fantastic and here comes the wind with it as well. That seems like the perfect time to wrap up the stream for tonight. SQ 7298 747. That also very cool. A little bit bigger than a Saab. Aircraft identifications really need some work at night time. Seven Queen of the Skies for the finale. Whoops. Yep, Singapore Airlines. Singapore Freight. Uh, yep. We can finish looking at the control tower for Oscar. If I can find it. There it is. If I can find it above that. There we are. The Sydney Airport ATC Tower and a Rex Airlines 737. As we cap off the stream for today, thank you guys very much for watching the second day of the Australasia Live Plane Spotting Tour, hitting 900 subscribers and how many likes did we get? I have a look. How many likes did we get on the stream, guys? Ninety-six likes, just short of that one hundred mark. That's all right. We'll have another crack at it tomorrow. Thank you guys for your support. It's uh, really great in the s in the chat. Heat 66 out at Brisbane Airport tomorrow. Awesome. Night, Jonathan. Uh, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Sydney time. There you go. That one is actually a Saab 340, not a 747. All right, 99 likes. Come on. I love planes, the 100th like of the stream, perfect. Thank you guys for watching, we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for another day of live streaming. And uh, Siki, yeah, yeah, um, I've got all I can at the moment, just really exposed out here, so uh, that's, it's alright. Alright, see you guys, thank you.